You can quickly add a gradient by going to the interactive gradient tool, go to the gradients panel, which you can find in the window menu, and then go down to paint a gradients presets and just apply one. And then simply select any of the other ones, just click on them and you will see the gradient change in that interactive control. And you can see all the nodes associated with that gradient, all the colors associated with it. So you can try them very quickly. However, if you've already got a gradient, go to the first one, that's the origin point there, right at the center there, that's the first node, and you can select that and drag, and that will reposition the origin point. And you can move that up, down, left, right, and center. You can also go to the last one, that's the bottom one there, and increase the length. You can just drag that. Depending on the direction settings and also padding, they're the same. You will see more or less lines. You've got the style, you can change the style, so you don't have to go with spiral. You've got the presets there, all on control bar. They match the gradients panel as well. And again, you can select a preset there, and then go to the start, make it linear or circular, and so on. And just click on any of them. You can also go to padding, which is listed as direction in the gradients. And you can run through them there as well. So click there and you can see you've got that option there for mirror. That, that one's got a real sharp edge, which is okay. Click that one, which is a singular gradient. Or you can go for the first one, which creates a lovely smooth gradient. And you can do much the same in the direction field over in the gradients panel. Just run through them and you can see the different gradients. One will reverse the gradient as well. And again, you can still continue to modify the origin point as well as the end point. You can also go to the right side menu of gradients panel, and you can rename the gradient as well as save the current gradient. Also, you can edit the gradient. So click edit the gradient, and it's much the same as editing the gradient interactively. You can modify it, move the various nodes or stops, reposition them. And also you can go to the gradient nodes panel and change the colors there as well as the position and opacity, as well as deleting them, all via that node panel. But you can interactively move them back and forth, change the colors, so you can get a blue, gray, or red, green, etc. Also, like I said, delete the node, or change opacity, so you can actually see through to the underlying image, or increase it to 100%, so you can't see the underlying image unless you change the blend mode. And this is the point of saving the gradient. So you might create this great, wonderful gradient. And then, of course, you want to save it. And you can do that via the right side menu and save gradient. But you can also edit the gradient. The edit gradient is slightly different. I would commit, that will commit that gradient. But it is slightly different from the previous interactive editor. You can still move the various nodes around. You can change the colors. So you can go and change it to red. But you will also notice you've got other options, such as color ramp as well. You can also delete the node and move it around. But at the top, along the top of the bar, you've got some additional options. You can also add by just double clicking at that, any point along that line. And if each time you add that node, you will see you get more and more entries along the top. Just select one of those. And as soon as you do that, you will see the color blend method. By default, it's RGB for all of them. They're all independent. So each one you click of those ones along the top. And also by that way of just selecting it, going for clockwise or counterclockwise, you will see you will end up with getting, instead of RGB, you'll get the flow of colors all the way through, back again to the start, or going the other way. So you can get lovely rainbow designs very quickly using that approach. Again, you can select any of them. Also, you've got color ramp. You can deselect that. Weirdly, you have to select one of the entries and then go back to it. You can deselect it or select it again, and you can change the spread of the colors. Weirdly, it seems to affect only one node, even though it says all nodes. Click OK. And then you can apply it again, and you can see now you've got a very different gradient than before. And you can change it so you don't have to have it as that one circular, go for radial or spiral, and you can see the result of that. And of course, you can decrease the length. 
You go to the right side menu and then you can save the gradient and you can give it a name. Color ramp one. Click OK. Only thing you will notice what happens. It uses the previous little icon. which is not very good. But you can set the custom icon. I'm not going to do that because what well, again, it's asking about committing the gradient. Yes. You have to search for a file. Doesn't take it from the image itself, which is a pity. And you can apply another gradient just by selecting in the preset. Also, you've got the option here for merge mode. So you can change it with that created and selected. You can just go through those merge modes, multiply, difference, and you can create a variety of different colorful designs. And you've still got access to the nodes. You can still modify the length as well as the origin point as well. And you can combine three, four, ten different gradients. You can also change the opacity so you can see more or less of the. Also, you can click the action at the top there. Commit the gradient, though quite often it just pops up and says commit gradient anyway. Once you've done that, you can now apply another gradient and you can see the effect of applying it. Of course, with difference, but you can apply it with overlay or any other blend mode or merge mode, as it says. And again, commit that and then apply another one again. Also, you can go to effects and maybe go for focus and glass distortion. So you can modify your gradient, create various effects such as that using glass distortion, change the amount and variance to create really warped water, sort of watercolor distorted designs. Paint has got a few other features as well. Got that apply screen there, I can just apply that. You can also go to express paint. So you've got there express paint and that adds some additional, but not many unfortunately, options for jittery strokes. So when you apply your grain, if you select one of those, it will then apply that effect listed. You can see there preview effect. So if I click that, you can see the effect, which just creates a sort of rough design and you can modify the size as well as the amount of the effect. It's a pity there's not more options than that. And there's also no way of adding additional ones, but it does add some sort of organic texture to the design.